going on guys welcome back to another video um man i'm gonna tell you this much being monetized on youtube just like gives you a little bit more of an incentive to get out there record something you guys are doing that's how it all starts guys um honestly just making a video today it's gonna be a little bit different it's actually gonna be on a street bike but uh all you guys out there that are grinding on youtube all i gotta say is man just keep grinding just keep making videos it doesn't gotta be about what everybody likes just make videos about what you like and uh you're gonna gain traction and honestly the biggest thing is for me i mean i've been doing youtube for like three years now and i finally just got monetized within the past like two months and uh i'll say this uh at first i really didn't believe in myself i was kind of just like messing around a little bit and i was like man i don't know if this is doable and then there's a video on my channel that i made be late in 2020 i think it was the five star tune 87 review after like six months or something i can link it up here and uh i said in that video i was like you know what like in that video i was like you know what i'm gonna start making money for something i enjoy doing like i'm gonna start making money for working on cars and stuff and uh sure enough that's what i did and i mean i'm not trying to sound like inspirational or nothing i'm just telling you guys like if you guys want to do something quit playing around and it starts every it starts with just the smallest thing like monetize on youtube like you're not blowing up you're not making like thousands you're making hundreds but you're not making thousands but that's how it all starts and then from there you get to actually like put back in you get to i get to work on the hatch i get to add something else and then like you know all you guys that are watching out there you guys are all helping too so today we're gonna get into the bike video I actually stop we're not getting into the bike video yet so i was gonna buy another i was about to buy another car today for the channel and uh I'm gonna make another video on it because I still might buy it. Um, it's like a little fun car. I'm mainly into like, I guess like JDM stuff, like front wheel drive stuff, like, you know, stuff like that. I think that's mainly what I'm into, but I was about to buy a car today. That's a little bit different. It's American made, still front wheel drive though. Um, and I broke it. I broke my friend's car. And I'm gonna drop a clip to show you guys that car right here. Let me know what you all think in the comments. He wants me to come look at it tomorrow, Lucas. Didn't mean to break your stuff, man. It just kind of happened that way. So if you're watching Luke, comment below so I know that you've seen this and that, you know I'm sorry. I didn't mean it, man. Anyway, guys, I'm going to show you the car below. Let me know what y'all think. Let's hop into the bike. All right, guys, here's the car. Uh, what year is it, Lucas? It's a 2005 SRT. Um, basically, what I'm told is we've got an intake, exhaust, if you can't hear it. Uh, bigger injectors, and then that's pretty much it. Um, it's like a little hazing on the headlight, which is probably normal for eBay ones. It does have 80,000 miles on it. And overall, it's, it's a pretty clean car, actually. I'll see if we'll go for a ride real quick. guys see that exhaust um i would like to buy an aftermarket one um but for whatever reason man aftermarket exhaust for like these bikes are retarded expensive like you can buy a couple really cheap options that i'm not a big fan of but for this bike a nice like carbon fiber exhaust is like 1400 and man that's a lot of money for exhaust so what we're gonna do today is i'm gonna do a muffler delete on it i'm gonna see if that helps now there's still like a I don't know if you'd call that a resonator or a muffler on this bike, but there's still a big suitcase below, but I'm gonna get rid of the muffler on it and we're gonna see if it opens up a little bit and give you a couple revs like I just did and see if it makes a difference. So let me get into it. All 
All right. So if you guys have a Z900, um, that was, I mean, honestly, that was maybe a couple minutes. I'm not even sure that that's going to make that much of a difference, but it could. So let me show you guys how to take it off. So muffler is going to be 10 millimeter. Um, I just left that in because it's threaded on the other side. This is an Allen key. Honestly, I don't know the size of it. I'm sorry. And then you have another uh, Allen key up here with a nut that goes on the back side of that. And I just put a pair of ice grips back there to hold onto the nut. So anyway, that is that removed. And you guys can still see that it has a huge suitcase on the bottom. So like I said, I'm not even sure that it's going to make a difference, but I am going to start it up and see. So this would be a 2017 Z900 um, with a muffler delete. Let's see if it makes a difference. And if it does, leave it off. And if it doesn't, maybe put it back on. Not a bad little video for today. Um, I'm gonna ride it a little bit uh, today. I don't have my GoPro charged up, so I'll put that on the helmet, take you guys with me. Um, I'm actually gonna start doing that a little bit more anyway, uh, showing you guys a little bit more of like point of view shots um, in my videos, but I think it sounds good. It actually like raspies it, like, how do you explain that? Like it, it makes it a little bit more raspy. It kind of sounds like a, like, not quite like a 600 cause that's super raspy, but it kind of adds to that note a little bit. And I'll be honest with you, looks a little cleaner with it off. I, I actually like it. Maybe, whoa, whoa, I actually like it. Anyway, guys, before I'm done with today's video, uh, again, be monetized. I'm going to start posting a lot more stuff, a lot more truck stuff, a lot more car stuff, a lot more motorcycle stuff, a lot more four-wheeler stuff. And I'm actually going to start vlogging a little bit too, take you guys kind of through my day-to-day -day stuff. I'm not saying I'm the most... Uh, exciting person but you know what maybe you guys will be able to relate to me a little bit uh tomorrow this video is going to drop tonight tomorrow i'm going to take you guys with me hour away and uh, i'm going to pick up a new tow rig mine and my brother's business is doing really really good so if you made it to this point guys don't miss tomorrow's video um let me rephrase that it's not like <laughs> i don't want you to think it's like a brand new platy because it's definitely nothing like that new king ranch but it's a diesel and it's a piece of junk it's rough, but you know what? It's perfect for what we needed to do. And a lot of you guys out there love this generation truck. I'm not saying I'm going to like completely restore, but who knows? Maybe I'll fall in love with it and keep doing it from there. So anyway, guys, if you made it this far, thank you for the support. I appreciate you all very, very much. We're going to bring the Civic back. We're going to bring truck stuff back and more four-wheeler stuff. Until next time, take care.